Well, it all, it all started in 2010 when, when Europe took this raw materials initiative. It really opened a new era for all the people involved in education in raw materials and especially the University of Liège where we have a very long tradition of educating people in a degree known as ingenieur geologue. And with this new, new opportunity, really, Europe was insisting on the fact that we needed to train new professionals. So we decided to team up with Université de Lorraine in Nancy, with University of Luleå in Sweden, and with Freiburg in Germany to really create a new program. That program is called Emerald. The Emerald Master, it gives you a really broad overview of all the raw materials industry, like mining and also recycling industry. First of all, because you go from geology, uh, process mineralogy, and also we go, we treat and study topics such as um, uh, mineral processing and uh, geometallurgy. That's the aim and the new asset of this type of master. For Liège being part of this network with, with our colleagues from Germany, Sweden, and France was, was, was very important. It helped us indeed to, to prepare an ideal bit for the the knowledge intervention community in raw materials, which is now called the EIT raw materials, and uh, it also helped us in playing a very active role in this European network. That allows you to uh, get to know different ways of education, to collaborate with the students, your classmates, which they come from all over the world. So it gives you a really big overall view, uh, not only from the technical aspects, but also personally and culturally speaking. So today we speak a, bit, a lot about the raw materials value chain. So it's important for our engineers to understand where they are in this raw materials value chain. They are not just geologists, they are not just mining engineers, they are part of the whole chain. And when in their education program, for example, we try to, to really uh, make them understand this whole circular economy. So this idea of T-shaped professionals exactly means that we try to uh, make them understand where they are in the raw materials value chain while being specialized in their own particular field. Another positive aspect of this master is that it's really well connected to the industry. First of all, we have quite regularly uh, seminars on where industrial speakers are coming to introduce either their experiences, they introduce you to economical aspects, uh, marketing aspects, uh, societal issues in the mining industry. Today it's very important that engineers are in contact with the economic realities. So what we've introduced this year is typically a three weeks intensive business school for engineers to be more familiar with the idea of creating a new startup. In training engineers in the raw materials sector, it's really important that we, we do learning by doing. The lab classes are so useful, they're so interesting and we get to work hands-on in groups which is very good and I've never had the opportunity to work with machinery and equipment like this before so for me it's really new and exciting. So we are really proud that all our recent efforts in education have been recognised by the European Institute of Innovation and Technology with this EIT label and we do hope that in the future more and more brilliant engineers will join us in our educational programs in Miege and in other universities around Europe.